four extremities. One, two, three, four. And what I do when I teach it is just exactly how I teach it. Yeah. You know, you can, you, know, you can only strike it twice, or you can strike it three times, you can strike it four times. But in order to have a fifth strike, you almost have to have a, uh, uh, another extremity, another two. But what I created was little phantom punches, and sometimes people miss the count, so they can almost tell when you go on a triple strike. But sometimes I'll, I'll go five. Say, for instance, I'm rolling a pattern, I'm going four, and I'll come back with four, and I'll sneak that fifth. So that's what I do. Five punch. You know, I call them phantom punches because I sneak it from under the arm. See it? Now, and then I regroup it with an elbow strike. It's lower than riding the arm, and this is for, for, for speed. But now, when I ride it this way, it's when I'm going really fast. So, Alan, check this one out. Five punch, one under the arm. One, two, three, four, five. And one straight across. See? Much faster. And, um, and the reason I call it a five punch rip is because it's all in one motion. And then the thing is with the balls, the ball is what's in motion. So if I do a six count rhythm, or I'm sorry, yeah, six count finish, uh, it'll look something like this. Remember, so the ball is not stop moving. The ball is always in motion. So from there, I follow through with the next three, which makes it six. See? See the ball is always in motion. That's why I call it six point. And then sometimes we say, well, how can you do that? That doesn't make sense. But anyway, that's just an idea of how I create some of the, the other uh, rhythms. And there is another guy on the, on the website. I would like to share with you one of my patterns called a rotation pattern. Okay? And using the phantom strikes. That's up front. That's the basic rotation. The basic rotation. Advanced rotation. See? One more. Okay, and then with those patterns, I do a lot of your advanced strikes, whether it be here or coming to the Saw that, or I can do four. I can come back home. And a lot of people doing this. Uh, they're not doing the reverse side of that, but they're doing this stuff. Okay. Little advanced unorthodox patterns. This is what I was And uh, one more, um, spins. So y'all know that's a little cool little deal, but this spin, we'll, we'll name them out for you. So the first spin is gonna be the slice. The elbow, or the elbow, or it's not an elbow slice, it's a more of a forearm slice. But here, nice and slow, get a greater rhythm. Then we have what they call a, a, a touch and spin. So basically all we do is just touch the ball, it's just gonna spin crazy, I guess. Let's see what happens here. What you call a fish roll and maybe catch it on the spin. I'll go slow. And the last one I'm gonna show you 
And it was just a few, very few things that I do, but I just wanted to share with you because you, you is, uh, you're the happiness, man. Without your work and without what you've created, you know, we'll, we'll be stuck on the fist roll. <laughs> well, check this one out. This, I like how you create the little sidearm. I really like that one. And I do like the, the, the basic. Okay. Oh, you can do the jerk with it. And just pull it side to side. And then you can triple through. You know, this here, got to warm up for this one. So if I make a few mistakes, please, please bear with me. And uh, and I do have some some little side triple like a double come out of it. That's six that's six going in instead of three going in to the side. Three, you know, maybe like a little six. And those are like little strikes that I do. Those are my. Uh, those are my exhibition strikes, but I have so many, many. And, um, but just wanted to share this with you, Alan. I hope you enjoy the little exhibition that I showed you. Thanks for watching.